Today I'm finally going to be showing you my version of Lana Del Rey's hair in her Young and Beautiful music video. I had gotten so many requests on it and everybody loves Lana and I love her so I did my makeup kind of like her similar and then I did my hair and this is it right here. And um, I know my hair looks short but I pinned it up because in her video her hair's a lot shorter and it kind of looks like they pinned it up or they did a lot of teasing to make it big but she has a lot of hair and I don't so I had to do different things to make up for that but this is how it looks as you can see it has the nice waves like she does in her music video so I hope you all like it um, it may not be exact like hers but it's similar again we have different hair she ha her hair is much longer than mine is so hers was a lot more full at the bottom so what I had to do was I had to pin it up just to give it that full look from the bottom because my hair is really um, thin and I don't have a lot of hair so if you have thick hair you don't have to pin it up I'm pinning it up right here as you'll see in the video so hope you all like it and don't forget to rate and if you're not subscribed to me make sure to subscribe to me okay so I hope you all like it everybody now, I won't be using all these products, but I just wanted to show you this new line at Sally's Beauty Supply called Vintage Glam. And to the right, the pink bottle is their curling serum, and the bottle to the left is their texturizing powder for volume. And what I'll be using right now is the Thermal Shine Spray, and let me just say this stuff is incredible. Incredible. I used it um, just a couple of days ago and it gives me extreme shine in my hair and I just love it and it smells so good. So now I'll just be spraying that all over my hair and you have to make sure not to get your roots too much because then your hair is going to get greasy if you don't plan on washing it the next day. Now we'll be splitting our hair up into three sections. The first section you want to start behind your ears and go all the way up to the top and you don't want to get your crown so make sure that line is parted before your crown. And then just part your hair to the side whichever side you like more and we're just going to get this extra hair out of the way so it doesn't get in the way of us curling. And now we're going to part our hair again, but we're going to do really small sections, at least like a one inch section, nothing bigger, because we want our curls to be really small. Now this next item is the main ingredient. This is a lot of body setting lotion, and you can find this at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's a curl setter, and this stuff is in Incredible. I've never found anything like this. It actually makes your curls last so long and you need to dilute it. So I bought this little pink bottle and as you can see it's almost clear and not really purple. So you really have to dilute it especially if you dye your hair. It's like one part for five parts um, water. 
And now we're just going to spray a little bit onto our hair. You don't want your hair to be wet because you don't want to keep it wet and then curl it. So just spritz a little bit so it becomes a little damp. And the curling tool I'll be using is my Numi Reverse Wand. It is zebra print and I love it. The thing I love about this wand is that it's two different sizes. Well, actually a lot of different sizes. Um, the smaller portion is 13 millimeters, so that's like half an inch. And then the larger size is 25 millimeters, which is one inch. So you can do so much with this curling wand, but if you don't have it, you can use a half inch curling iron. But you want it to be a half inch. The smaller, the better. So what we'll be doing is wrapping the hair around and if you have a curling iron you need to make sure your hair is wrapped around. You don't want to put it in the clamp because it will create a different style of curl. And when you're wrapping it around the tube you have to make sure that your hair lies flat. You don't want it twisted so because if you twist it it's going to give you more of a wave instead of a curl like I'm going to get now. So make sure that your hair is lying flat onto the barrel and just use your single or double prong clips to keep the hair in place and we'll be repeating the same process throughout the whole top section of hair and another thing I forgot to mention is we're going to be curling over the barrel and in one direction and I'm going to hold the wand for about eight seconds And now we'll be repeating the same thing on the other side, going the same direction, curling over your barrel. And this is how it should look when you're done curling your top front section. For the back, instead of parting vertically, we're going to part horizontally and we're going to get a small one inch section and curl it the same exact way we did when we were curling our sides over the barrel and make sure your hair is laid flat on the barrel. And we're going to repeat this same process until all the hair is completely curled and pinned up. And this is how our curls should look when complete. Now we're going to start taking our pins out, but we're going to do this section by section. Now 
Now this next item I think is a must if you do a lot of classic styling to your hair. And this is the Denman Classic Styling Brush. This thing is incredible. I bought this at Sally's and I fell in love since the first time I used it. It just makes your curls look beautiful and it has a rubber pad the orange part is the rubber pad and that's supposed to help with static in your hair so I definitely recommend everyone invest in this brush it's about nine dollars at Sally's Beauty Supply Now we're just going to take that section that we unpinned and we're going to start brushing through it. You want to brush through it gently if you have tangles, just gently try to brush them out. You don't want to pull your hair out. And this whole part is just going to be brushing through, molding with your hand until you get the desired curl that you like. And what I'm doing right here is sometimes it helps to tug down on the hair and just gently push into place. This kind of helps give a nice wave. Next we're just going to lightly tease the bottom. As you can see it gave it a lot more volume at the bottom and it kind of just keeps your curls in together. It just blends them in more if you're having a difficult time trying to get your curls to blend in. So it'll add volume and it'll also make the curls more uniform with each other. And now take down your next section and just start brushing through it and you're going to repeat the same process you did with your previous sections. Sometimes my hair likes to be stubborn, so what I'm going to do is take my palm natural brush and just start teasing with that and just brushing it. Sometimes using a different brush works for different curls. Now once we've taken down all our sections and we've brushed through them, we're going to start brushing through everything again, but this time we're going to blend all our other sections in together. So the whole look starts piecing together and all the waves start blending in with each other.
Now she has one side of her hair pulled back behind her ear, which is great because I'm always pulling my hair back behind my ear. So we're just going to take some hairspray and a brush and just comb that behind. And if you need that extra security, all you need to do is just place the bobby pin below it, hiding it. Next, what we're going to do is start using our hairspray. And this is another vintage glam item that you can find at Sally's Beauty Supply. And this is the Thermal Freeze Spray. Now, don't let the freeze scare you. It does not make your hair rock hard. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I have been stuck on Ion hairspray forever. But I'm actually going to have to depart with it because this vintage glam hairspray is a 20 out of 10. I absolutely love it. Not to mention it smells incredible and it keeps my curls in all day without making them rock hard. So I just love it. Now I'm just going to take my Paul Mitchell teasing comb and I use this in a lot of my videos. It's a great brush. I love it and it's not too harsh on the hair. And we're just going to take that comb and just lightly tease our bangs or our little wave that we're going to have in the front. You don't want too much of a tease because Lana doesn't have hers very high so we're just going to make it pretty subtle. And in the video, she has her bangs going more over her forehead, but I was just loving this little curl that my hair was doing, and I did not want to part with it. So I decided to just leave it like that because I like the way it looked. Now since I don't have much volume at the bottom, my hair is very fine, what I'm going to do is just pin it, tuck it under, and pin it. So it's going to give the illusion that I have shorter hair, but it also kind of gives a little bit more volume than if I were just to leave it lying down flat. And here is the final product of my Lana Del Rey inspired look. I hope you all like it. And again, it's just a lot of brushing and you know, you just have to work with your hair and try to mold it with your hands. It's a process, but the final result is totally worth it. Thanks everybody for watching once again, and I love you. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. made entirely from your own imagination. But I had the uneasy feeling that he was guarding secrets.